So now I will be demonstrating the anterior sickle scalar, which is the H67. This instrument is only used on anterior teeth, staying super gingivally. Before I begin, I am going to show you three sections of the instrument. So the first section is gonna be the tip third, which is this area here. We then have the middle third, and then we have the back third. So if you have your UNC probe, you can also measure exactly how many millimeters a tip third is, and it is about one to two millimeters. So when I say adapt the tip third, you're really only adapting two millimeters of that working end. So for right-handed clinicians, you will start on tooth number 11, working your way to tooth number six for surfaces towards sitting at eight to nine o'clock. For left-handed clinicians, you will start with tooth number six, working your way to tooth number 11 for surfaces towards sitting at three to four o'clock. Because I am right-handed, I am going to start with tooth number 11. I have a modified pin grasp. I'm sitting at eight to nine o'clock. I'm going to establish an intraoral fulcrum and I have good ergonomics. If there is an imaginary line right down the midline, I am going to dab just the tip third right around that midline. So I'm going to start by using overlapping vertical strokes, staying super gingivally, adapting the tip third of the instrument. I have an intraoral fulcrum and I'm using a pull or wrist activation. As I come across a direct facial, I'm going to stay adapted and slowly roll into the mesial interproximal, maintaining my modified pen grasp. And now I am establishing a 70 to 80 degree angulation. As you can see, my shank is slightly over that mesial surface. So after I scale tooth number 11 surfaces towards, I will now go to tooth number 10. My patient's chin is up because I am working on the maxillary arch. Again, there's an imaginary line here bisecting right around the midline. I'm adapting the tip third of the instrument. I'm using short controlled overlapping vertical strokes, maintaining my good ergonomics and modified pen grass. I'm going to roll my instrument between my index and thumb coming into this mesial interproximal, maintaining a 70 to 80 degree angulation. Okay, so you would continue completing all surfaces towards on the facial. You would stay at your seating position, get your mirror, and then you would complete all surfaces towards lingual, starting back for right-handed cl clinicians, starting at tooth number 11, going to tooth number six. For left-handed clinicians, you will also do lingual surfaces towards from six to 11. After you complete all surfaces towards facial and lingual, you will then move to the 12 o'clock seating position for right-handed and left-handed clinicians, and then you would scale surfaces away. For right-handed clinicians, you would start at tooth number six. Left-handed clinicians, you will start on tooth number 11. So again, I have a good modified pen grasp. I have good ergonomics. I have an intraoral fulcrum. I'm going to bisect the tooth right around that midline. I'm adapting the tip third right around the midline. I'm using a wrist activation here. Short controlled overlapping vertical strokes across the direct facial. I'm going to roll my instrument between my index and thumb staying adapted with a 70 to 80 degree angulation as I roll here into the mesial interproximal. So I'm going to continue all surfaces away on the facial. Next, I'm going to scale tooth number seven. Again, adapt right around the midline, staying super gingerly. Nice, short, controlled, overlapping vertical strokes across the direct facial. I'm using a wrist activation. I'm going to roll into the mesial interproximal, maintaining a 70 to 80 degree angulation 
going 51% up into the contact point. So I would go ahead and continue scaling all surfaces away to tooth number 11 on the facial. Then I would get my mirror, stay at the 12 o'clock seating position, and continue scaling all surfaces away lingual. For right-handed clinicians, you would scale starting on tooth number six to 11 surfaces away lingual. Left-handed clinicians, you would do the opposite, which would be 11 to six, staying at the 12 o'clock position for surfaces away lingual. And after that, you are done.